Well, hello guys, here is with another video. This is going to be a very small question for the grade 10 and it's related to the stoichiometric and in this case will be empirical formula. I'm going to leave the small question below so you can answer before watching the video and don't forget to subscribe for the channel. An inorganic compound has the following percentage composition and they give you the percentage of sodium, carbon and oxygen. They say define empirical formula and then determine the empirical formula of this compound. And then, what is empirical formula? Empirical formula is the simplest whole number ratio of element in a compound, and if you say that, you get two marks. So let's determine now the empirical formula. Now, for this work, the first thing I, I like to do is, this is 8.2, is to draw a table. And in this table, I'm going to have elements. I'm going to have percentage. I'm going to have mass. I'm going to have number of mole and I'm going to just write the formula we are going to use for number of mole I like to write the ratio maybe I took two, two small spaces here but we're going to fix it as we move okay so the elements are sodium so I'm going to write Na there is carbon C and there is oxygen I'm going to write O V percentages are 43,39 for sodium, for carbon is 11,32 and for oxygen is 45,28. That is the percentage and those are the elements. Okay, so now for mass, mass is exactly the same. As I said, let's move all this now a little bit to the left. There's no need of pressing that. So there is mass. Mass, guys, is the same as the percentage because we're taking, like, if it's out of 100 grams. Out of 100 grams, this one will be 43,39 grams. This one is 11,32 grams. And this one is 45,28 grams. Now, we have to calculate the number of mole for each of them. Okay, we are going to calculate the number of mole for each of them and obviously you need the periodic table. So number of mole is equal, I'm not going to write the formula because it's already uh, written there. So it's 43,39 and the molar mass of sodium is 23. Alright, so we'll get here that the number of mole is equal to 1,89. All right, we are going to repeat this one for carbon. Number of mole is equal to 11,32 divided by the mass of carbon is 12. And we get 0, 0,94. There we go. This is mole. This is mole. Okay. And the last one is for oxygen. Number of mole is equal to 45,28 divided by molar mass, which is 16 is 2,83 mole. So we are done with the number of mole. Guys, we are going to get the ratio. Now, how we get the ratio? We divide every one by the smallest one. In this case, is 0, 0,94. So we say 1,89 divided by 0, 0,94. This one is, let, let, let me write here ratio. There we go. So it's 1,89 divided by 0, 0,94. And you get that this one is a 2. Here, it is going to be 1, 0, 0,94 divided by 0, 0,94 is equal to 1. And the last one, 2,83 divided by 0, 0,94 will give you 3. Will give you 3. And we are practically done. What is the empirical formula of this compound? It's going to be Na2 CO3. This is the empirical formula of that compound. Quite simple. Where are the marks here? One mark for each calculation of mole. There is always going to be a mark there. It's one mark for the ratio. When I say mark for the ratio, it's for all of them. And then it's one mark for the final answer. Guys, this is the end of this question as well as the end of this question paper. Thank you for watching. Thumb up. I hope it helped. Subscribe for the channel. See you next time. Mr. G here.